This year's snare drum etude comes from the Vic Firth book, The Solo Snare Drummer. It's etude number 12, it's located on page 15. I am so excited that this etude is being used for this year's audition process. For those of you who don't know, when students then become professional musicians and they want to be a part of a symphony orchestra, they have to go through an audition process and they play what, what are called excerpts. Basically, they're just short snippets of music from the orchestral repertoire. And for this etude, Vic First Etude Number 12, it uses actually a, a portion of a excerpt of music from Rimsky-Korsakov, Scheherazade. It's from his the movement, the third movement of that piece. Professional musicians, professional percussionists, practice this excerpt for years and years. And I don't want you to get scared about this etude, but understand that uh, there is a challenge to it. And there are, very, there are quite a few different ways to practice performing this particular excerpt. So the first recommendation I have for you is to go out and purchase a copy of Rimsky-Korsakov's Scheherazade Movement 3. Listen to the whole piece. Listen to the whole uh, uh, suite of Scheherazade. It's a beautiful, beautiful piece of music. Then focus in on Movement 3. Listen for the snare drum part. Uh, the snare drummer actually plays a little bit different um, uh, part than what's exactly in the etude, but uh, the etude uses uh, direct quotes from that particular excerpt. So I'm very excited for you to, to get to know Rimsky-Korsakov's music, Scheherazade. One of the challenges about this piece, especially the first part of it, measures 1 through 12 especially, is playing soft and playing very delicate passages. that I recommend is play warm-ups at a very soft dynamic. That will train your hands to, to have finesse and to have control and to have a, a, a touch to, to produce a great quality of sound at a softer dynamic. Also, practice with the snares off when you're playing your warm-ups and then when you start practicing the AT. Having the snares off will allow you to hear the clarity of the drum so then you can hear the clarity of the doubles and of the drags. Another way, when you're practicing this piece, make sure you work on hand isolation. Work on uh, measures 9 through 12 where you have the drags. Make sure you know exactly what the right hand does. Then make sure you know exactly what the left hand does. Put them together and then you're gonna have a much better idea about how everything works together. Another way to practice this piece, take out all of the rolls. Practice just the check patterns. The check pattern and the roll bass that I use for all of the rolls are 16th note triplets. Then, another step of the rolls is to make sure you understand and you execute appropriately the rolls that are tied to the next note and are untied. The untied rolls, I still use a, a 16th note triplet bass, but I leave the last 16th note triplet off to create that space for the next note. So again, make sure there's a difference between the tied and the untied rolls. With this etude, I recommend a 14 inch by five inch drum, something a little bit shallower. That will allow you to have a crisp sound on the drum. You don't want it dead, you still want some, uh, some resonance from the drum, but making sure that the, the top head is tuned, the bottom head is tuned, and the snares are aligned and have a nice crisp sound. I actually use a, a small, uh, it's called an EMAD um, for the drum to muffle the drum out just a little bit to help bring clarity to the lines. Enjoy this piece, enjoy Rimsky-Korsakov's Shahrazad. Good luck.